when we got yesterday. So, uh, in this video, we'll be showing how to scale one of these. It's a nice big rat, so I think we'll do this one just because it's easier to see. But, um, uh, got the outdoor edge knife. Sharpen that up here in a second and, uh, show, show you how to skin one of these suckers. Okay, so what we did for this rat, I can't, couldn't show you yet because I can't hold the camera with one hand and do it, but, uh, you just cut around the legs there, all the way around it, all four of them. The front ones you can just about clip off with pliers or whatever you want, but we, we normally don't do that, then we'll get feet laying everywhere, but we'll just, we just took our knife and, show you somewhat, took our knife and cut all the way around the legs. They're still on there, and then what we're going to do is, I forgot to do it, but we're going to cut about inch, inch and a half above this tail all the way around. That's for the stretchers. I can show you here. I got two of them stretching, but, uh... That tail right there's a piece of that tail, and it's just for those, uh, uh, to poke into them and pull them nice and taut. And then you can stretch them out good. Those actually have to be pulled off. Now, that's, uh, wire stretchers. That has those to pull them on. And, uh, now we got a mink here on a wood stretcher. I only use wood for, uh, mink and coon. I'll start making coyote boards here and use those, but see, we got this nice female mink. This is the second mink of the year. Trey got this one. Trey got both of them, actually, but mink and female. But you can see we just pulled it tar and put it down with some tacks. Looks good. That one needs to pull, be pulled off, too. That's a female, I said, so a little smaller than the male that we got, but there's some wire stretchers just like that. Uh, I'll show you how to stretch them after, but got to skin them out first, so just cut around those four legs, and got a piece of way here, and we're just going to hang them up by the tail, so straight the legs, and then sharpen that up real quick again, just because you're always hitting those bones when you're doing the legs. Let's wrap the way around this tail here, and take your knife, and sharpen it up real quick. Okay. So, a muskrat, there is a line right up to the tail, dividing the belly fur and the back fur. One's real white, almost white, and then the other's real dark brown. And you'll follow that line all the way up, right to the tail. So, that's what we'll do on this one. He's a little stiff from the cold, but not too bad at all. Got the heater going in here, so we'll just run this line all the way up to the base of the tail okay do that on both sides now if this is your first time doing it, just go nice and slow you might want to not use a Super, super sharp knife, just because you make holes in them a lot easier, but after you do it a little bit, you'll figure it out. This is a little bigger knife for these rats. I had a little small one, but this one works just fine. So, after you do that, you'll find, you'll pull apart here where on each side of the cut, and you'll grab the back part of the fur where you cut up to the leg, You'll grab, pinch it together and pull it out and stick your knife right through it, just like that. And then you'll get a piece of that tail. You'll cut tail all the way up to that center cut where you cut around the top. So you got a little piece of tail like that right there. Connecting your fur, that's for your stretchers. And you'll do the same thing on the other side, the belly side. Pull it tight, cut a little piece of tail. There you go. Now you have these two pieces of tail here. Now all you're going to do is work it down this way. So, we're just going to take it, and you can tell right where the fur is. Just cut right on the edge of the fur and the fat. And we'll cut it down here. It's nice and easy if it's your first time. 
going slower because so you guys can see everything. But now for the legs, you kind of just want to grab the, the fur on the leg and then just go right around it. You can see it real easy. So you just pull that down and work right along the fur line and between the body. You just work slowly down here, each foot. And you turn it to the back side. And just work against the fur line again. You're always working against that fur. Might make a few holes in it uh, if it's your first time, but if you just go nice and slow, it should not be too bad. Now, if you hang it by the tail, some people hang it by both legs, but I hang it by the tail. And if you do that, you don't want to pull very hard because muskrat's tails are not connected to their body very well. So it's sometimes when I'm doing this, if I pull too hard, I pull the tail right off and then I gotta hang it up by the feet. But well, that's alright because I'm in passive back legs anyways. So we'll just keep working around. Okay, so now we got past those front legs. Now we're on the waist. Now it's just, you don't want to pull them too much like I just said, you'll rip that tail off. But you can pull them most of the ways and uh, just work your knife right between. Uh, by the fur on the body, and you'll just do that all the way down to the front legs. And you can see right where that fur is, and you don't want to hit that with your knife and punch your hole. So you just want to work your way down here. So like I said, you can pull pretty good. And I mean, most of that fur just comes down. I'll probably use this muskrat carcass here and put it in a mink box. I'll show you that in the next video. And we're out on the line again. I think I'll do that. Use it. Throw it in as a coyote or fox head or something like that. But we're just working down here. Okay. Now we're just working down up to the front feet here. And you just want to cut the membrane. You'll use that membrane on that fur, but you just cut it so you can see that quarter, that front quarter. Um, and you want to be careful right at the chest, right in here, just because that uh, the way it's folded back on the meal. Sometimes put a hole in them, but we did fine on this one. Okay, so now we got the front front quarter showing here. So what we're gonna do is we got one of these legs here, and we're gonna take it and kind of pull on it, and you'll see where it starts getting. And then you just wanna put punch your uh, thumb through or whatever, right out right about where the elbow is would be right under there just it gets real thin there and you can push your thumb right through so push our thumb through and we'll put our finger in it now and put another hand in it like this and then kind of just pull and that fur and there's your foot like that we'll do that to both sides just like that there's where the fur ends that's where this foot is Okay, so now we're on the neck here, and we'll just keep going along, just like we are, right, right against the fur, and then you'll get up to the ears, and uh, ears on these guys are not very big, but they're just right, right there, real small, you can see them, they stick out, so you just take your knife, and just cut it, cut it straight down, right towards the skull, and you can see that ear, it'll pop right out there. So, basically, this is pretty easy from here, but here's over here, and we'll just slice straight down right until we hit the skull. 
and we'll just keep going real so now coming up here the eyes so we just go right along until we get up to them they'll peek through and once you get up to them we'll just cut straight down again it's, you want to keep the eyelid there so uh, the eyelashes and all that stuff so we'll just go right against it and cut straight against the skull again so the knife kind of gets a little dull but that's alright that's why they make sharpeners but we'll find that you'll see it's a little black a little, you can start when you're working down and you get to the eyes you'll go along with your knife and it'll make a little hole and you're like okay so you'll see the little black circle and that's the eyes so after you get past those you just cut straight down on the skull try to stay right against that skull the whole way and then you'll cut your lips don't worry that's not a hole it's just where their lips stop and the joint on their jaw so you just keep going cut around the back teeth and the bottom teeth and you'll cut and while you're working down you'll go down the nose and just, you'll work down work down and then you'll feel it get it will drop off kinda and that's your nose and you want to keep that it just looks nice so you feel it drop off and then you put your knife all the way against it so if here's a nose you want to push all the way against it against the skull and then cut straight straight across you want to keep that nose and cut that nose right off so uh, here's our muskrat fur show you it here turn it inside out for a sec there's a little fat under the armpits and all that so we'll flesh those out well, real quick, it don't take very long, but got a nice muskrat fur here. Nice big rat. Go on one of our larger stretchers, so uh, still got a little ice on them, but not too much. But uh, 